I am just going to do a quick analysis of today's visit to my father. Um, basically, this is strange stuff that I noticed during the visit to father. It started exactly what you see here. Father pretty much May 25th, 2023. So, morning hours of May 26, 2023, I gotta finish this. This is how I entered his room. He was, uh, I think, heavily sedated. And I'm afraid there is something else, too, that goes on. There is more that pertains to father. So he was totally unaware, appears. Yes, I can tell that he is not doing well. Yeah. I can tell that he is definitely not doing well. Um, what got my attention in respect to what you see here is what I already have described from the nurse Yanko and also for what was stated to me the case is going to be. If uh, they encouraged from me to complain uh, about the father's non-compliance, about the father responding uh, physically to assistance, which he would receive in post MK Ultra period. My father was subjected to a heavy uh, medical malpractice. He was tortured already inside of this home for elderly, just as he was tortured at the General Hospital, the Novo Master. He was, there is no doubt about it. He was hospitalized, as you see right here, for the purposes of torture pertaining to me on no less than three occasions. I sat next to his bed, like this, as you're about to see, and was brainwashed on how to see the situation with my father. I was basically instructed by the Slovenian state using the hospital staff physicians and using the and uh, medical staff assistants nurses and likewise at the home for elderly people to view situation from the perspective of the psychiatrist, and I was incited basically to complain against the father is responding physically to assistance he would receive. For what also I was told that they will understand if I ever will complain about it, they insisted me that this would be like my last chance And it would be given to me as a form of assistance to respond to father's accusations against me, which he filed with, with a psychiatry and with the police, through the police, through the law enforcement in Slovenia, domestic abuse charges against me, based on which I was 
hospitalized inside a psychiatric hospital in 2013. Uh, it was gestured to me, even from the psychiatric hospital in Bliana Poli, where I was hospitalized by the staff, employees, psychiatrists, and employees inside the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Poli on how I should, in fact, complain about father responding physically to assistance that he would get, but that I did never, I never did, and so on and so forth. So this was a form for what nurse Yanko insisted me will understand as a good to go to rid of the father. That's when he would totally, they would totally sedate my father with a psychiatrist, prescribed a medication to one, and it would eventually, as a result, kill father. Something I was not even aware of it. Something, however, in a last moment, I have managed to somehow prevent from happening. So it was incited by the Slovenian state, by the police, it was administered by the police, enforced by the police, and it was enforced through psychiatrists. Now, my father was the one who blindly followed his trap. He was the one who actually enforced crime, MK Ultra crime. But whether I want it or not, I had to protect my own interests because of his stupidity, because he followed the psychiatrists into his own end. He followed the mother's brainwash, everything they involved into his own termination, basically. Now he is in a situation, as you see right there, His health is greatly deteriorating. Uh, exactly accordingly with MK Ultra, it was the roommate, the two roommates that were also inside of the room where he is at. Uh, and health of his roommate also greatly is deteriorating. His roommate have suffered a hip incident, a hip accident, already many, many, many years ago. And it's exactly this type of hip incident appears have reappeared to one. Then the roommate of his went on to suffer a seizure during MKUltra when I was brought inside to father they presented me his roommate, in a little bit I'm going to demonstrate to you, to have suffered also a seizure, which rather have left one with a broken, uh, with a nose coming out of his, uh, with blood coming out of his nose and so on. So, it was seizure-related stuff. For what his roommate, who was involved since 1995, have stated to me, it will be the case if I will not involve one, if I will not be uh, reporting about one, and or if Slovenian state will decide to have them all removed from the picture, yeah, he's not the only one. There is a man who met Janis Jansha inside of the prison system, who also was involved not since 1995, but who was involved since probably 19, maybe 1992. The man, a sailor who would met me in Bombay, in India, and on other locations throughout the world when he was working as a sailor, actually. 
that's the man I have not uh, reported about. This is the man who was involved before anybody uh, was involved. No? And who also is inside of this uh, hospital unit, uh, basically home for elderly unit. You know, that's a supportive a wing for people who require close attention, medical attention, right? So it appears that Slovenian states is through Monika Schwartz Pipan. This is a minister for interior and the prime minister Milan Kuchan is apprentice, both of them. Uh, but Milan Kuchan is apprentice now known as Robert Golob, Prime Minister Robert Golob, exactly according to MK Ultra. And the president, Musa, uh, is accordingly with MKUltra instructions doing some filthy stuff. Is basically enforcing through MKUltra uh, the acknowledgement that I have to acknowledge basically. Uh, a removal of people from environment of home for elderly people. And that's exactly what it was mentioned for the finale of removal of my father. Just that based on what I observe is happening with my father is not a rehearsal of MKOTR only. This shit is meant to have my father literally killed, based on what I see. His health is greatly deteriorating. Uh, it does not appear to be faking anything. Father was misled to follow police, psychiatrists, state into the grave. It's a systematic removal of even people who were involved in MKUltra. I don't see this as a, something that would be a necessary part. Slovenian state, I have to say, also contemplated on extorting me through issuing father a death certificate. In other words, they claimed me that if father is alive and this and that, just so you know, we have to remove one. Uh, it would be either this or he would be jailed and so on. This was another scenario that was involved in MK Ultra. And we're going to treat one. These were the instructions to me further. We're going to treat one accordingly the way you're going to treat us. So they were going to use the father as a tool to extort me my views of Slovenian state. This was like either or either, either or either. So who is doing this stuff? It's a police, it's a psychiatrist that are doing this stuff. There is no doubt about it. The roommate of my father who is uh, who suffered a seizure and before the seizure a broken hip he suffered one already way, way, way back. Uh, he suffered a broken hip somehow in 2012, I think it was. Then through the seizure, he suffered bleeding from the nose. And he told me, that if you see the stuff like this, it's going to remove me. And if they're going to start doing that kind of stuff, please do not interfere. So what I'm doing right now was actually not even wanted. 
it definitely potentially could be exploited by the psychiatrist to say that something is wrong with me, that this actually happened and this and that and not before. Uh, it was a heavy, heavy mismanagement of the health files. They were playing heavily with the health files. It was a number of people uh, that was that were involved uh, faking health files. There is a number of the people who did bad things and would give a lot, if absolutely not everything, including the people from the village Kirka, to accuse, to excuse their mindless behavior against me during MK Ultra through admitting they did in fact have, for some of which I have even proven, they did in fact have medical files falsificated with incidents that dated way prior into time entered at the later stage at the later time. We already have discussed this with a number of the people, and this individual right in there, uh, just as individual I have mentioned earlier, as the two of a people like this that enter on MK Ultra. Um, how would that be possible to prove? <laughs> These are the medical files. Medical files can be totally falsified. Uh, Impossible without, I think, without the people giving a go, basically, a green light to what I have stated. Impossible. So, all I can do is basically the hope for the best for these people. And as you have seen, I have alerted that individual who stated me also is not receiving prescribed physical therapy. Yeah, he's not. The roommate of my father is now not receiving prescribed physical therapy. Uh, it becomes evident here that his bed also is non-functional. That's a bad support, electrically supported bed that will give one chance to adjust uh, a patient or himself maybe in the bed so that he could function uh, is not is not responding basically bed is broken and it's exactly a replica of the incident from MK Ultra so that probably tomorrow I'm gonna get to see uh, an individual who will be fixing this bed who also was involved in MK Ultra um, during MK Ultra in fact since I have touched this issue here, a plug, let me see that. Uh, it was, they even, they even uh, questioned an individual who came to repair this stuff, who was involved in the ultra, on what exactly was it that was broken and so on. Well, from my point of view, this is not appreciated. If I have to be detailed to Slovenian state, this type of stuff is not appreciated. The man appears is choking. Mr. Koleti Chaloy says his name. He was involved since 1995. The man appears is choking with Mokus. He is not having a pleasant time and I have no ability to help him out to ease his day today. Yeah. As for my father, uh, that's a little bit uh, different. You know, if I go back to father. Well, this is how I basically uh, met him today. He was like, this here, I know my father, this is not really, this is not really okay. As I see things as different. Uh, pay attention to the, to his shirt. Now he says slow. You know, uh, Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch is fucking around uh, in English language with uh, funny choice of these shirts, but this was involved during MK Ultra as well. They, they just this is a sadism. 
It's mentally ill sadism, basically. Slow, uh, uh, I don't know, a variety of these shirts they have used. If you have watched this program, a variety of different shirts they have used. This is a sadism. This is sadistic. It's it's like mentally ill stuff that's being used. You know, sadistic. It's a waste of my time. It's a waste of my life. I'm 51 age with a cancer, with a broken spine, uh, with cancer in my left foot, with cancer in my left arm. And basically, this is what we are fucking around with. With a father here uh, on a deathbed, even if he would be faking, as they have insisted me during MK Ultra, this is a 91-year-old man who I'm certain is not faking. See here. If he was faking, this shit is coming for him at extremely high costs. It's going to be very difficult, if possible at all, to rehabilitate him back on two legs, two feet. So this stuff is not appreciated. This is not faking. I know my father. I know when he was faking, when yeah. he was not faking. This shit, this is bad. Now, what I did notice with my father is, um, here, for instance, uh, he is choking with the mocos. I have gone through the videos already, which I have recorded. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. This is a typical father of mine. He is choking with a mocus in his mouth because he doesn't want to spit one. And he's going to give you a hard time and bullshit. Uh, if you want to assist one, uh, he will not allow you to even soak one out, which possibly could be due to mistreatment during MKUltra. I will not exclude one. Because this individual, this Yanko, this nurse, it appeared he definitely was violent with me. Uh, and I don't have the reason that he was not to believe that he wasn't violent with my father. He's just a violent individual. This is basically the way I see it. He had his good times. He was nice. He was kind. And he had some other times as well, like bad times. The, the bad times... This guy rather was scary. It wasn't only here, it was also inside of the general hospital. Definitely the stuff I'm talking about, and I'm talking about they had father subjected to MK Ultra. MK Ultra is not only medical malpractice, MK Ultra is a torture. I don't want you to see the stuff I'm talking about, MK Ultra, as something normal. MK Ultra is a torture, period. And through the use of psychiatry in MK Ultra, you can easily misguide an individual. You can maybe even improve his behavior. And you can turn one into a toxic, self destructive personality for which I don't know anything else I have witnessed during MK Ultra. They instill the toxic self-destructive personality in my father, in my mother, and they try exactly the same thing with me, which to a certain extent they even accomplished with insults, torture, As for today, I don't have absolutely anything else I would hear report about this stuff here. This type is going to be available. You see the father like this. Uh, I played him rather a, a pleasant, nice video. I brought a uh, laptop with me. I was trying to entertain one. Uh, what actually got my attention, and it's what it was noted during MK Ultra was this incident here. Here we go to one. He was really, really loud about when I went inside of the restroom. I was inside of the restroom and I heard him yelling. 
And that kind of stuff appears to me as if somebody would remotely stroke one through maybe brain implant uh, in the center of the head or something like this. As if somebody would 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 use some kind of electric current something to completely drive him uh, like disturb him with an electric shock or something like this. My father did have surgery. They did go and drill his school. They did go inside and went on to what they claimed was that he suffered a fall uh, and it, they saved him Whoa! like they saved him like in a last moment. They took him to the uh, Ljubljana where they performed surgery to uh, to save him. They sucked blood from his brain and stuff like this. Uh, the thing is that they engineered all this. They orchestrated the incident. They did this stuff. They promised they're going to do this stuff. In 2006, they have father scheduled for the brain surgery, for the stroke. They had father three times inside of the hospital. They had him inside of the home for elderly. They had him inside of the hospital. And based on what I have observed today right there in front of me, that to me was not normal under any circumstances. However, I have to say something. They alerted about what you see right there during MK Ultra already. And perhaps is not a brain implant. But what I have seen right there, what you see right there, this is not normal under any circumstances. This is like somebody would... He would be experiencing some kind of pain. Um, it could have been leg related. It could have been a blood clots or something like this that he is experiencing. And he already have experienced that uh, already during uh, in the past when they were evaluating. Let me demonstrate to you. When I started to examine him, yeah, when I started to examine him. Yeah, look at this shirt here. It says slow. Uh, when I started, this this is exactly what was under MK Ultra, the same shirts like this. When I started to examine him, if uh, he could have a problem, a cardiovascular problem, uh, I started right here on the top like this. Yeah. Like this. Like this. Uh, this area here that you see. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch claimed me my father has a problem with. They did not do the stuff like they did on my father on me. When they were literally using the door from the room. They displaced, they, they adjusted the door from the room so that I would pull one, pull one. And during MK Ultra, when they would poison me, they demanded for me to keep closing the door, keep closing the door, pulling the door with a greater and greater strength because they realized that exactly that move produced, they adjusted that move to intensify greater and greater injury on the left side of my heart, basically cardiovascular injury. That's the type of healthcare we are talking about here. But with the father, when it comes to father, the father's problem is different. According to psychiatrist uh, Peter Kops, father displayed when they had him inside of the hospital, home for elderly people, pain exactly in the area that you see right there. Father did not demonstrate it to have any kind of pain today when I examined one there. You see it? Yeah. The bully? He definitely was heavily sedated. The key bully to key? Huh? Did not have. You see, this is what I assumed that this is where they developed me injury during the butcheries. 
for which MKUltra was used when it comes to cardiovascular problems. Right there. He did not have a pain. He did not have a pain anywhere. But this here definitely is worth seeing one more time. This is probably related to the blood clot in the leg. Oh! Not that he would know to have anything like this. It's a possibility that he is suffering cramps or something like this. I'm inside of the bathroom right there. And look at this. Oh! That's not too good, is it? So this is just a recap I'm going to give. Um, there is really nothing other than uh, what I stated here to report. There isn't much to say. Uh, we washed the laptop. Um, he could not. He a little bit. He barely. He had a problem. Uh, observing this whole thing and based on what i see this is this is this is not exactly uh, this is very very good this is totally deteriorated health yeah it, it appears to me dehydrated and sedated as much as possibly could be they sedated him they dehydrated him it's basically a murder procedure systematic murder procedure dehydration through the use of sedatives, of the heavy sedatives, with which uh, is how they are doing it. This is basically what it is. My father disliked, always disliked drinking water, and here he is getting exactly his, uh, his dose. Oh, okay, why there are the huh? it, it was not it was really nothing to to do really because um what can I say? Uh, thank you very much for uh, basically suffocating my father with sedatives. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't have anything else to report. I came basically to see the corpse over there. As for my uh, appreciating really the service at this home for elderly people. On other occasion when I was here, um, when I took father for a ride to cafeteria, they follow up with uh, procedures to alert me on how impossible to 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 excuse me, to remind me of MKUltra during which they have exercised numerous warnings on what's going to be to bring the father at home, the problems, and so on and so forth. But this is basically a, a, a behavior of Slovenian state uh, after committing a very, very severe crime, not only against me, but also against my father. And for my mother, I was very very straight to how they brainwashed her they did a really really good job on my family now this is this is basically um, um, based on what i see um and i'm quite speechless to what the slovenian state the nation have developed into this is this is a murderous genocidal state in the center of the Europe. It's a Kaliningrad number two that is just uh, eager to execute to murder own people, subject people to. I wouldn't even call this a human experimentation. But it's a human experimentation with a final goal to get the person murdered. That's where my 33 years of life went. 
Yeah, and this is basically what my family members are ending with, like this. Today is already May the 26th, 2023. Thanks for watching this video. This was a recap. Uh, I am going to put this stuff together uh, and I'm going to place this online. I'm just going to use this, somehow find a way to add this uh, clips through. internet service this is disgusting as anything possibly can be it's disgusting that anything possibly could be they did everything but what i inquired from law including from the one from the human rights court in strasbourg human rights european human rights ombudsman not only one all of them slovenian human rights ombudsman uh police and so on they did absolutely everything but whatever law required them absolutely everything and they wanted to actually abuse and use a murder of the father execution of the father through most disgusting possible way possible but basically I'm not going to say pushing words in my mouth or, or, but exactly what I have described in this video, even in respect to this uh, issue here. This is just, this is just unbelievable. This Slovenian state, um, this Slovenian nation is a big fucking mistake on the map of the nations. I am speechless in respect to this mistreatment. I'm speechless. I lost 33 years of life on this fucking Slovenian genocidal crime. Insanity, basically. Today is May the 26th, 2023, 0322. I am so angry that it is impossible to explain.